<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our podcast. I am Chris. I am joined once again by my brothers, Adam. Hello. And Eric. <laughs> Hello. We are back in the room to talk more video games and video game related <laughs> topics. With this week's topics being the most recent state of play, all the things that we saw from it that caught our eye or that we want to discuss and give our take on, as well as our spoiler filled review for The Last of Us Episode 6 titled Kin. So that will be in the latter half of this episode. And um, so for anyone who maybe hasn't watched that but just wants to check out the state of play talk, we'll talk about that first. Um, and then we'll give a spoiler warning before we jump into talking about episode six of The Last of Us, which we hope you've seen by now, uh, because like with every other episode we've done so far, it's been out well over a week at this point. So we're we're playing catch up on the show always in terms of talking spoilers for each episode. And uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts, too, not only on the state of play stuff, but also on The Last of Us. Uh, use the timestamps in the description if you want to jump to each part of the conversation or if you watch the whole thing, share your thoughts on everything. So if you guys watch this YouTube Jump down in the comments to share your thoughts at any point. And if you enjoyed this discussion, why not give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell for all future content. Or to you guys who are listening to us on audio platforms, you can also touch base on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Brothers Take. Again, to give your take on the state of play or on episode six of The Last of Us HBO show, which is fucking killing it every week. But without further ado, let's get stuck right in. Okay, so to start us off, I suppose we'll start with the state of play, like I just said we would, because That's I'm not a good a idea. Let's start with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think of the state of play as a whole before we hone in on any uh, particulars? I, I thought it was a pretty good hole. Yeah, I thought, um... I thought the actual state of play <laughs> was one of the better ones. Yeah, I thought it was a good showcase of a lot of stuff which is interesting because and... when i looked online uh oh. <laughs> that's not the <laughs> consensus it's like all the other ones were like yeah. oh yeah a's and B. oh shit <laughs> sorry i'm making a miss here a's and yeah, b's right? and shit yeah. like that and um oh yeah um, when people do their like ratings and rankings yeah i think jeff keely generally puts out a poll doesn't he yeah and this one not so much everyone's like not too keen on this one but i, I thought it was a i thought it was i, I rated it a b was I, it like I thought it was okay the PlayStation VR two stuff that maybe made people drop it or something or are you kidding me? Because yeah, I thought that stuff looked <laughs> great. Yeah, I would imagine it was the fucking. I mean, the last thing you saw was supposed. You know, usually, well, that's supposed to be the highlight, and I would imagine everyone was left with a fairly sour t- taste. Like, who the fuck is excited for that Suicide Squad game? Okay, maybe that's why I thought it was good because I had absolutely no anticipation for that anyway so right. i wasn't watching this for that game. like when you got there were you like I, I well i'm kind of i'm out now you know yeah like i watched it but i didn't i didn't care for it right um because uh, it, i it already never interested me even since they announced that, that they were doing it i have absolutely sure. no interest in the suicide squad so it's not yeah. for me so i didn't care um but honestly that game just kind of looked like every other fucking game that exists that does well so i i i don't know i i thought it would appeal to a lot of people just not right. arkham fans yeah i know i i can't see that appealing to very many people to be honest but maybe we're well, right we'll get into that later um so eric you like you liked the showcase yeah i liked it i thought it was pretty good i thought there were some good traders in it yeah um i, I mean there was some other stuff that obviously i was like yeah, I don't really care, but I'm sure that appeals to somebody. Sure. Um, but like, 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 like Suicide Squad. Uh, I'm sure that does appeal to. Oh multi- yeah, of course. There's gonna be people out there. Like multiplayer it. people that appeals to multiplayer who like to look at those diarrhea Christmas lights going all over the screen. That's for them. That's mm-hmm. correct, right? Um, but like, I mean, when it comes to v- the place in VR, that was a synapse. Look at that good crack. Like a, I can't remember the like name. You're, of you're going, now. you're going across uh, this kind of grayscaled world, I right. think, and it's it's you're going around, you're shooting all these people in the head. Uh, with one hand you're using a gun, the other hand you're like lifting like all the environment and the people, and just the way your man was playing, he was like just going around. Oh yeah, it yeah. just looked like a lot of fun. Um, right. so I think a few of those VR games looked pretty, pretty good and pretty fun. Um. Which is nice. Nice to see PlayStation VR 2 looks like it's being supported from like kind of day one with a good few 
Oh, games sure. for I fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if it launched and there's no games? Cool. Yeah, that would that would suck. Mm. Imagine that. Imagine there being no games for a console when it gets launched. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't that be mad? <laughs> 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 um Okay, yeah. No, I wasn't crazy on this at all. Uh I oh. I suppose I I thought there was good variety. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. But I didn't think any trailer was good. I liked I actually liked the Destiny trailer. Yeah, that trailer looked really good. Yeah, that was a pretty good trailer to be fair. I'm not going to get the game because I think the gameplay is crap, but the the trailers and the story to Destiny is always sure. really awesome, but it's just like then you yeah. see the gameplay and you're like, "Why did you do that?" It's like it's like Blizzard, right? You see a Blizzard trailer and you're like, yeah, "That's yeah, an yeah. awesome trailer." And then you see the, or even the, the 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 old Republic Star Wars trailers, you know that kind of one, that MMO one. As like the trailers are awesome, and then you see the gameplay, you're like, why did you do that? <laughs> why? Right, right, That's right, what right. Destiny is to me. But uh, yeah, so I really like that trailer, the Afterlife trailer. After like the character design was really cool, and I kind of wish, um, after seeing not just that trailer, but every cinematic that comes from the Destiny universe, it's like, how have they not done a a, a kind of an arcane style TV show at this point, because I think right, yeah, I, think the, I have no idea. Because that would be class. The art style to Destiny is really good. The story is really intriguing. They could make a really cool series out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I suppose right. um, like the one game that like I'm exciting excited for, um, like that wasn't a great trailer. Oh fuck! You know are you mean? kidding me? Yeah, it wasn't a great trailer. I, I, I. Uh, That's not to say I, I don't like everything I saw in it, <laughs> right? Yeah. It was oh. confirm, but it was like it, it was just confirming. It's like, by the way, yes, all these things are in the game. Yeah, you, you know did what I mean? not like that Street Fighter Six trailer, man. You're... All those Zangief was awesome. <laughs> I got more excited for Cami. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm like freaking Cami is in this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Cami from the movie? Yeah. No. Right, Cami is the chick who like she's the, got the she's, beret on. Yeah, she's the military uh, agent, and right? she's like guile's second hand person. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. that's that's Cami. Was that the British one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought like her poses were hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I, I thought all that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> and Zangief yeah. was hilarious too, just with all of his fucking flex and shit. Okay, yeah. So all right, fuck it. Let's talk about the big <laughs> hype, the big hype game, Resident Evil Four. Right, like yes. Yes. Hold on. Right. Yeah. You really like that? That looked like because <laughs> the game looks ama- the based, game looks amazing. Based on two and three, yeah, I wasn't sure how much they were going to do it for. I thought maybe they right. were just going to sideline a lot of shit in the game, yeah, and just kind of get to the point. Maybe just the main kind of um, chunks, the the kind of conflict areas. Mm-hmm. Because up till this point, Krauser was supposedly not in the game. I knew he was. Well, I kind of, of felt it would be crazy for him not to be, but I mean, yeah, the, di- the 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 conversation was that he wasn't going to be in it, and that was cut from the game. That's so, so weird. I though. was when I saw that, I was like, I was, yeah, I was, I got excited because yeah, no, everything, everything's in it now. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. The question is, is 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 the giant Nutcracker statue in in it? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Is it in That's, there? That's the uh, honey bee in of Resi Four, really, isn't it? Well, it's, like it's gotta there, be, right? <laughs> They're including a lot of the cheesiness as well, so I'd imagine so. Yeah, like yeah. cheesy dialogue is in it, which is great. Yeah, Lewis Sarah seems to have a much bigger role, which I thought was great. Yeah, yeah, that's there's, interesting. There's, they're still doing the mining cart thing. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, fucking, yeah. which Nuts. was awesome. Nuts. Mike is in it. I they like got this... Mike back for the helicopter. I yeah. knew. Yeah, yeah. But I I knew he was going to be in it. Like I don't know. What, that's not a surprise. Of course, Mike's in it. I know, but it's still nice. Oh, no, it is, I, I don't think it's. it's... I, I, it's a fa- it's a faithful remake of the original game, but three wasn't. Right, but this you is the I mean? team that made two. I, this is I, not the team that made three. Right, but there wasn't exactly like a a huge like games normally t- nowadays take forever to make. Yeah, the yeah. gap between two and this is not that long. No, true. And f- they've done a great job. So I, I I was I was seriously expecting them to be cutting things out. Because okay, four okay. four is a very is quite a long it's game, quite a big game. Yeah, mm. there's a lot to cover in it, and with that extra the detail and stuff that that they be adding, uh, and I'm wondering if they're going to, like, because four is a very linear experience in comparison to the other Resident Evil games, where there's a lot of backtracking. 
yeah. and two and three ha- kind of maintained that backtrackingness while also progressing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they're if they're going to expand for. There's a little bit of backtracking for, I guess, but I wonder yeah, with this yeah. new one, is there going to be a lot more of it? I like you can so, leave yeah. the castle and go back to the village and go back to the castle, that sort of idea? or um, Maybe not so much that, but being able to, once you're at the castle, roam across the entire castle. Apart from like locked doors and things where you have to solve puzzles in a certain order and stuff. Yeah, I think I think there will be a lot more explorability or more so that as you progress through the story. So there'll be a certain like point in the village, say, right, mm. where before you go to the castle it's like a point of no return but at that point you can now you can go anywhere that you've been in the village so far hmm. you know and 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 go back and collect anything you might have missed or anything like that before you progress same thing with the castle by the end of the castle you'll be able to explore the entire castle before you go to the island which is confirmed you know yeah, in the game right so there. let me let me clarify i like everything that i saw in the trailer right I'm so excited for this game. It is one of my most anticipated games this year. I can't wait to play it. I am playing that demo the second it comes out. Mm-hmm. That was fucking super cool. I don't like the way the trailer is put together is what I'm saying. I don't think it's a good... I think the trailers they've done before have been excellent. And this was... Because I remember what was like... The, one of the games that was before the two Capcom ones is like the Naruto one or something. <laughs> and it was just like random fucking dialogue from random scenes put over scenes that are not the scenes in which the dialogue takes place. And I remember saying to like Ash while we were sitting there watching, I was going, I don't know why they do this with some of these trailers. But like, mm. how is that exciting with this random out of context talking over scenes? And then the Resident Evil 4 trailer came on, they did the same thing. And I went, oh, well, well, that's the thing I was just giving out about. <laughs> it was just mm. random dialogue from different scenes that I recognize. But yeah, I wonder I if that's like... it, though. I wonder why, if that's why they do it. Like the Naruto trailer is not trying to target me, someone who doesn't know what the hell Naruto is. And sure. is definitely not going to play it. But to yeah. the audience that know it, that shit means something. And that's all that matters, I guess. So with Resident I, Evil 4, I... Like, I absolutely knew the context of everything. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I can't wait for it. So excited! Oh man, the I, se- the scene where like one of the zealot the zealots zealots themselves look fucking terrifying. Yeah, but where it throws the fucking <laughs> side, yeah, and he duck. dodges and it spins at the that was the moment where I went, oh, that's fucking sick! Like that is and the cool. two El Gigantes only this time mm. Lewis is fighting with you. Uh. Now that excites me because I <sighs> what I'm excited about is what other story changes there are as well mm. as the the because I like yeah like. I want to see. I'm not worried about how faithful it is because I played two. You know, mm. I'm not worried about that. But I, I'm excited by the little changes they might make, and the fact that Luis Sarah doesn't die now where he did in the original. I'm like, mm, what else is different? You know, might Mike have a bigger role? Might he step out of that helicopter? I think Mike has a bigger role in this game than he than he did in the original. <laughs> In nah. fact, I I, think I, I virtually like Mike ev- just being that voice that you'd never see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just... actually, I think every character will have a bigger role than they did. Before. I, like, I think I... Ashley is going to be a more fleshed out character than mm. she ever was. It seems like from the trailer, it seems like she's going to be constantly going at odds with the Las Plagas throughout the game. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is cool. And it looks like Leon might be struggling against that too. I don't really like if you if let's say if Resident Evil 2 remake was the first Resident Evil or Resident Evil 7 was the first Resident Evil game you ever played. So really, it's like this new brand version. So if Resident Evil 2 was the first time you ever played Resident Evil 2, it's your first introduction to Resident Evil. I don't like the Resident Evil. This trailer spoils one of the characters coming back. Because uh, if you if does? you're not a, if if you're not aware of you mean Ada? Yeah, I mean Ada. Um, but like she was in all the other trailers. Was she for this game? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Ada. Ada has oh. been very openly shown off in this in this game. My question oh. is, do we play as Ada? We better separate ways. Separate man. ways. Is separate ways in this game, or is separate ways going to be a DLC? Oh. Well, it was a DLC technically. Was it really? Was it only with the special edition? Yeah, that wasn't uh... on the GameCube. Guys, it, we have yet to see remake Wesker. Is Wesker in this game? 
He's in the game, right? Like Mike is in the fucking game. Wesker yeah, has yeah. to be in this game. Yeah. We we haven't it's seen. Going, it's going to be Lance Reddick. We haven't seen. <laughs> Have we heard Ingrid? Have we heard yeah, Hunnigan? we've, oh, we've yeah, yeah, seen yeah. Hunnigan. Oh, we've seen Hunnigan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just yes. I did, yeah. See, I was just like <laughs> the last the last trailer we saw and everything was the one like it ended with the chainsaw knife sequence thing that just leaves you going, yeah, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that's just it. Like the, the other trailers they did were way more were just incredibly put together trailers. This was just a. Uh, do you remember these scenes? Yeah. Well, they're in it. Mm. So it's like, no, great. I'm glad they're all in it. I can't wait to play it. I just, again, the trailer didn't make me go, fuck, what a fucking trailer. Yeah, I guess with that the, was the, just like yeah, the reaction the, I had. The previous trailers, all you really saw was the village. Like, that's it. But not much right. of it. Yeah. Which is so you're why, not sure how much they're doing. Yeah, which is why I was a bit like, oh, no. Like, this is all they have to show. Right. Are, are they going to be able? Are they, do they have the whole thing, or will it be that they'll have some of it and then you'll have to buy the rest as a DLC? Right. You know, or like maybe they're doing FF Seven remake on it, and they're just, like, <laughs> we're just doing the village portion, you know? Like it's, it's a bit that's sad. The, that's the Midgar, you know. It's a bit sad the... that that's the way I feel now about games today. It's like, will it be as long as the games of yesteryear? You know. I suppose, yeah. Obviously, there they are... are very long games being made today, but generally, because of the how long it takes and the amount of detail that goes into them, games today are, they're, tend to be a lot shorter. Yeah. Here's my question, then. Because, um, you know, you maybe want to save yourself for the, for the experience when the game actually comes out. They're saying a demo is coming soon. The second it drops, like, are you playing the demo or are you going yeah. to? No, I don't want to. I don't want to know. Anything. No, I, I just check wanna, like, the, yeah, I'll definitely check the demo. I'll play the demo. Oh, I, think, I think playing I think, that see, demo. I think, are you there's, kidding me? I there's a wait. vast <laughs> difference between playing a demo and watching a trailer to a movie. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because with a demo, it's like you know, if you take the Resident Evil Seven Resident Evil demos, they didn't really have anything to do with the game. They didn't really spoil anything in the game other than just graphics. Oh, interesting. Seven. Well, eight did. Oh. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, but you weren't it. playing as you weren't playing as Ethan for that though. You were just playing as a character who woke up in the cell. No, you remember, I know what you're talking. About. You're, you're talking oh, about the, the maiden demo. But remember, then they released yeah, the, there was the, the, the other castle and demo. the castle demos. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, they did that. Now, Resident Evil Four demo will probably be very similar to Resident Evil Two demo, which it was. You were in the police station and you were actually doing some of the story. It's, it's gonna be, be the. Opening. the It'll be the village encounter, the first village encounter, yeah, surely. Yeah. Has to be, right? But the thing about with games is there's so much more to experience than just the scenes and the dialogue. Kind of the way like trailers for movies like mm. could actually end up spoiling lots of stuff for the movie. But at least with a game, you know, yeah, play the demo because then you get a feel for the gameplay and is it for you? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So I'm glad that they have bring. I'm glad demos are coming back, guys. Like they're finally bringing oh, back. Oh, to be fair, not like, really yeah, back, but. Yeah, Capcom are just great for that kind of thing. Yeah. Just, yeah, but I think yeah. I've seen something else. Like, with Nintendo Direct last week? Last week. Uh, two weeks ago? Whenever it was. Uh, they, they were, like, saying, oh, there's going to be a demo for this, going to be a demo for that. Not that I'm going to get download the demo or play it, but I was like, oh, thank God. Like, you know, bring back fucking demos, because they were great. It's so annoying. Yeah, and you don't really know. The Switch tends to have a good few demos available. Mm-hmm. But you see, that's so not. Nice. But it's not in Nintendo's control. So I wonder why. Why those uh, developers will go out of their way to make a demo for the Switch platform and not for the other platforms? Perhaps it's mm. not as time-consuming to output a demo for the Switch. Maybe not. You mm. know, not as time-consuming. I don't know. But generally, the know. reason Res- why um, demo stopped initially was because it was. E- it was an extra piece you had to do that would take away resources from finishing the game. Right. That was why they stopped. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. Look, I, I get it, but I also do think there is something to be said for demos. Um, yeah, I, I think every studio should budget into their time to um, yeah. to allow for a demo to be made. If they can. Like in, indies might All not be able to. Do you know what I mean? But um, <laughs> Yeah, look. Uh we're a little under a month away from uh, the release of Resident Evil 4. I can't fucking wait. We'll be playing the shit out of it. We will be talking yep. about it. Uh, excited to see 
all the changes and all of the fateful retellings mm. of events from the original. Uh, can't wait to see how they've reorchestrated the fight with the Del Lago. Yep. Like, uh, I just can't wait for everything, to be honest with you. And also, I'm terrified. Um, yeah. The, actually, that's another thing. The tone of this trailer was far more fun and action packed than end of it. the other ones, except the very end of it. And fuck those guys. Yeah. Fuck those guys big time. <laughs> and I'm like, shit myself about the regenerator as well. You know, which you see, here's the thing. Oh, yeah. You guys probably didn't watch it. Um, so that's why, like, th- this trailer actually just basically showed off it visually what they were asked, the developers were asked in the 104 or 101 rapid fire questions from Game Informer. Did an interview like so. That, see, I've seen that, and they're, yeah, they're like, yes, of course, Crazier's in it. Yes, of course, Mike's all right, in okay. it. Like, they, they answered all those already. That information was already out there. Oh. Um, they were like, yep, yeah, Regenerators are in it. Yep, yeah, the other guys are in it. Yeah, that's all in it. Yeah, I gotta yeah, figure that Regenerators would be anyway. You wouldn't leave they're them so out. They're so you gotta scary. You gotta get that thermal scope on the sniper so you can pop all those little leeches off. Yeah. They might do a different thing. Um, one thing worth noting oh, as well no. for people who are, yeah, they might. Um, for people who are picking up uh, Resident Evil 4, there, there was a thing at the end of the trailer, mer- there will be a mercenaries mode for the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's got to be post-launch DLC. It won't be there on launch. However, it will be free DLC for anyone who got the game. That's the first time mercenaries was introduced, extra. wasn't it? Uh, or, or OG 4, yeah. Yeah, it was. yeah. Let us know your own thoughts on not just the trailer, but the game as a whole. Um, are you game. excited for Resident Evil 4? And what are you most excited for? Let us know. Get in touch. Um, I I would like us to share our take on Suicide Squad because it was the big kind of focus of the state of play. Like It was the one game that they actually name dropped beforehand mm-hmm. and that they went a little bit more in depth in terms of having mm-hmm. uh, the development okay. team talk on. Um, I don't think this is a game either of us are particularly interested in. No. No, I mean, you're the only one, I think, that this was this would have possibly have spoken to. Sure. But, like, I've... I kind of lost interest with the whole thing since Arkham Knight, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I, like, I... Uh, my take, this looks worse than Gotham Knights, and that looked bad, so... <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm like I, I think this is so such a, I get all right. We're, none of us are in the fucking studio. You don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You don't know who's making the decisions. Maybe they feel really, really artistically, like this is just creatively where they want it to go or something. I don't know. I don't like to assume people's intentions either. A lot of people will make claims about oh this is happening because of this or whatever, but. From rock, what Rocksteady were able to achieve before and the talent that they do have, mm. I think this is so misguided. This whole direction that they've taken with this, I think it's an awful idea. Yeah. And there's no <laughs> there's no patch or DLC that could fix it. I think the whole concept is a bad idea, right? So the idea of the setting being Brainiac attacking Metropolis is not a bad idea. Yeah. The idea of playing as the Suicide Squad in that scenario, not a good idea. And then the gameplay that they've given those characters, not a good idea. Mm. Uh, to play a single player, you have to be online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Though you need internet access to play this game at all times. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole gear looty system, the whole Fortnite well, it's Avengers, vibe, isn't it? it? It's it's uh, it's so misguided. Like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? When when Avengers failed so bad, no matter how far into development you were, it would have saved you money to scrap the idea and start again. <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> but I, I I do yeah, this was obviously in development at the time when all that shit was hot. Must have been like yeah. the idea of all that was people were had the horn for that that type of game. Not gamers, because gamers you know, it's it's like the destiny type of game, the the loop of it. Mm-hmm. There is a there's a few of those types of games that exist, but you can only dedicate so much of your time to each of them. Yeah. So there's no point in chasing those players with these types of games. And when you have a series and a formula that has worked for so much long, like why would you want to fuck with that? Why change it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Like I don't know how. Like I mean, I'm sure it'll be full of 
cool easter eggs and things like that that's the only thing i, I do feel like metropolis as a map could be very interesting to explore but not at that speed and not at that pace. You know what no. I mean? Like that, yeah, you that's just miss out. Yeah, you're, you're... I, yeah, I missed out on yeah. that. That's what with Arkham Knight I didn't like. There's lots of stuff in there. But there because loads, you're yeah. driving around and you, you miss Zipping it. Zipping around and yeah. 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 No, and that's fair. Yeah. Um, there was a cool line in the trailer where like Wonder Woman has the lasso on the flash. And he's like, "You have to kill us, Diana. That's the only way to stop us." And I'm like, "Why are we not playing as her?" I was <laughs> yeah. just, I was just, that was, that was my point. I was like, "Actually, that one line makes a way better game than yeah. what we're getting because you yeah. could still keep that Arkhamverse sort of gameplay style, mm. but have a little bit more faster, brutal combat because you're Wonder Woman. But she's zipping around with, well, not only lasso, but she you owns know, super jump and flight. She fly around. The shield could be down." on metropolis so you're not going around yeah but yeah, then also 100%. oh but then also just play as fucking superman if you're going to be in metropolis i was going to say America. like what honestly why are we not playing as superman well i think actually as wonder woman it would, would have be been the slam cool dunk. because if you're if you're a wonder woman and your your job is to take out the justice league which you're not going to do obviously but you're mm-hmm. going to find a way to try save them mm-hmm. each but there is each member there is a wonder woman you, game you in development in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, then that's how you. It's not like as a, with the likes of Gotham Knights, you see, it's like they're all available to you. And you're kind of like, well, I don't know who to play as, really. I don't know. Who, you know, you don't have that opportunity. Same with the, this Suicide Squad, I feel like. Who would you choose to play as? Or do you have to go switch between them in order to keep everyone balanced? But if you're a Wonder Woman, let's say your first fight is the Flash, you now unlock the Flash. And there's a tutorial system then to be able to play as him. And there'll be you can think of it like the Lego games a little bit, where there'll be certain areas right. that only that character can access. So it's going to be yeah, yeah. Uh, and then and a Metroidvania in that sense. Well, the the build up then, the build up is the very end when you unlock Superman to actually defeat uh, Brainiac. You can pretty much do what everyone else was doing previous. But like, more. but like, shouldn't shouldn't this be shouldn't this be a Superman game? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. shouldn't shouldn't that have been their next project i don't know like maybe they were annoyed that that's what everyone wanted or was like expecting or calling out for but like shouldn't that actually be what it is though <laughs> because like the setting is a superman game yeah you know what i mean uh do you think they're only doing a suicide squad because of the movies like because of the james gunn movie i have no idea I have like no I have idea. absolutely no interest in the Suicide Squad. I really if don't. If I if I was making a Suicide Squad game, this would not be where I'd put them. Like the Suicide Squad, the whole idea is supposed to be like Black Ops kind of shit. So like, yeah. I'd be putting them in like Corto Maltese, and you'd have to do very violent and very questionable things. Yeah, that would be the whole Suicide Squad thing. To be I... honest, like something closer to like Guardians of the Galaxy game, where like you have a squad leader trying to manage a very uncontrollable uh really dirty grimy squad and you're kind of managing your relationships with them as well as you know taking them into combat and using their skills but you know i feel like that's how it should go like i this is weird this is just fucking weird yeah i think if you were if you were trying if they wanted to do success called but had to fight meta humans i think if you went to the fictional dc country of bialia to take on queen bee would be way more interesting. How fucking metal was that? Does anyone know what he's talking about? I do. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, yeah, I, something like that. Like, I would have yeah, said, no, no su- it's, it's put him in Corto Maltese, man. Yeah, but they've done Corto Maltese with the fucking movie, so then that's just like, you know, you're not doing something new, are you? Yeah, but it's just a, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but either way, something <laughs> like that. But this should have just been a Superman game. Then you got the Wonder Woman game set in like Temescira or something. Then you do like a Flash game. And then you just do your Just League game. You don't have to do a whole trilogy or quadrilogy like you did with Batman. But you just, you do a Just League sure. games. Well, there is, yeah. So there's a Wonder Woman game in development. Yeah. By Monolith, isn't it? Sure. I am not actually sure. The guys, the guys who made the so Shadow is, of Mordor game. So is this going to be... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wonder Woman making... Shadow of Diana or something, and you're gonna have to go and you have to conquer all the I don't know. To be honest, centers. to be honest, that gameplay might not like that might work anyway. You know, that, that mm. combat system from the Shadow games that they built on, but I'm sure they will 
also utilize uh, new systems to suit Wonder Woman's abilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, ah, look, it, it did I, look like they were they were really trying trying real hard to make sure that everyone has some form of flying ability. Yeah. Like yeah, I know you I know you're swinging with Harley Quinn, but let's face it, you're zipping around, you're flying around the city. And for most of them apart from Deadshot, it just it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make no. sense. It doesn't suit their characters. No. Not at all. And it, was... what's really weird to me is that like it this is why I'm like, okay, no, this is just trying to be like the movies. This is just trying like I think it was at that time when not the current Warner Brother management, but the, the one before this where they're really mm -hmm. trying to force this DC universe on everyone. Um, the, although they say this is part of the Arkham verse, that's not the Arkham Deadshot. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a different character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's doesn't no feel no anything around that. It doesn't even <laughs> feel or look anything like the Arkham games. Careful, I said that once and. <laughs> <laughs> the people yeah. were not happy and i was like oh yeah i'm a am i wrong no you're not wrong because even <laughs> graphically it doesn't look like it this no, looks like sun sunset overdrive it's a totally different art style and i get and people are going to say yeah but it's metropolis that's brighter i get that yes of course it is yeah. right it's not always raining in metropolis we know that that's not what we're talking about there's a whole vibe that's just off um I also, it's so weird. Like, again, I don't want to assume anyone's intentions or anything like that. I have no idea. Yeah, go but for one. Get the dirty. No, get but nasty. when the developers are talking about the game, like the behind the scenes stuff, hmm. I get no, pa like, I'm not getting a sense of passion from them at all. Yeah. Where, like, Sefton Hill used to sell the fucking shit out of those Arkham games. You know, I used to watch every interview because it was just so fucking exciting. It, they could just announce, oh, here's a new gadget Batman has. Like, that's nothing to really announce. And he could talk about how exciting that gadget was and the ways you can use it. And I would just rewatch that video over and over. Like I was like hooked on anything Arkham related. Because yeah, I kind of feel they like sold the shit out of it. I kind of feel like they they came to their publisher wanting to do Batman in the style of the animated films and and series, and and they had to convince Warner Brothers to let them do it. Yeah, and I think it's probably the other way around now. It's like okay, now that we know what you can do, we now want will, you to do Suicide yeah, Squad. Yeah, will you do this? Will you do a Superman game? I was like, well, how the fuck can we do a Superman game? And I think do you know what I think that I was thinking about that because I always said before that it's like you know how do you do a Superman game? Maybe it's impossible, and no, maybe nobody can crack the code. But actually, the more I think about it, I think it is possible. You know, I was playing, you know, playing um, Hogwarts Legacy, and you're you're flying on your broom. And what they do instead is they make the air around you seem like it's going fast. You're actually not moving that fast at all, but it might feel like you are. And I was like, well, there's your flight right there. Then you could do like your big God of War style, like boss fights and cinematic sequences and things like that for your combat. You could still unlock abilities as you go through. If you do the whole Metropolis force field thing, you are trapped within a space. Then it's like, yeah, but do you make every building destroyable? Well, actually, no, you think about it. And you go, well, that's not true to Superman's character. He wouldn't destroy the building, so he doesn't. You just don't do that. Like, Spider-Man could fucking punch holes in buildings, but you don't do that in Somniac. Because Spider-Man wouldn't do that. <laughs> mm. He can, but he wouldn't. So just because Superman... Like, I suppose like a lot of people would take us out, yeah, but Superman's capabilities are that, you know, he could do that if he went evil. It's like, but you wouldn't be going evil. You're playing a good Superman. You're, <laughs> you've been into good shit. And you'd be fighting all these aliens and robots where you could go to town on them. And that's where you get to release your full, like, destructive potential. Like, use the lasers and use the and I ice. I think you and... could. No, I, I could do it. Yeah, and I don't think you need uh, a force field around your map as a reason to not leave. I think his mission in the location he's in is a good enough reason to not leave. And No, true. Uh, it's just that that um... is actually a story thing. Like, that is actually yeah. something Brainiac but even, does. Even, so. even if they... Um, let's say it's not just Metropolis. There's, like, maybe there's actually... A couple of cities that you can go to. Well, you want to go to Smallville, right? Right, you could, right? So you right. don't, you don't, you don't physically have to fly there. You would do your your kind of your fast travel thing, but the fast travel is not just a black screen. The fast travel is actually him doing the fucking like, like a speed, bullet, speed and bullet flying through, and you can see everything kind of blurring, and you're like there immediately. 
So you're getting the sense of he's actually able to fly really fast to whatever location yeah. you're going to. Yeah. I I do think with the... With, it's possible, right? Yeah, it is possible. It is actually possible. Well, it's just there how do you people, construct the story around People it, with the Unreal Engine have been making a Superman game. There's, there's constantly showing their tests of doing the flying and the laser beams and, and they even designed them like Superman. But Some I do people think... designed it to be... I don't think um, I don't think that's the the part that makes making the Superman game difficult. I think the flight stuff there's proof of concepts to show that that can mm. be done. Yeah. I think what makes a Superman game difficult is the whole what are you fighting thing. Right? Because right, with, right. with with other stuff it's like you know even with Wonder Woman you can fight regular people, you can fight superhuman people, you can fight big monsters and whatever with superman i mean how many things can really defeat him really though to that to the point where it actually makes it um like that kind of gameplay you're getting better mechanic yeah um very few very few everything has to be like a supercharged boss fight basically and it's probably that aspect of it just arson around if you were to make it an open world game like batman you can at least go around and go you know i'll arrest that guy but with sure. superman it's like and even in spider-man you do all that kind of stuff but in a superman game that almost feels like below him nearly because he's a god sure but i, I suppose like it's part of the gameplay then is actually like um you know fixing crises saving people and the difficulty would come in failing to save multiple people who are in a horrible incident you know what i mean things like that as well as then your main story stuff being fighting an invasive force like an actual mm. that really can overwhelm you and do a lot of damage to you and and that kind of thing you know um like but uh, brainiac is the most obvious like story thing you, that you do you know yeah. But do you want to go to that and... straight away, or, or is it... do you want yeah. to build up to it? Yes. No, 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 no. no, that's that's Brainiac. And, yeah, and it, and if that works, great. Your sequels later are Dark Side and stuff. You know what I mean? You did that. Yeah, I say you build up, but you st- Brainiac is the perfect starting point for a Superman game. But now they've used it for a Suicide Squad game. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because that's why it's just weird how you can branch off from that. Because like Brainiac is like the fucking collector of a thousand worlds of knowledge and he uses that knowledge to to enhance himself but then with that i suppose knowledge he can build units of uh, machine units that can go to toe to toe i suppose with with superman or at least yeah. do some damage maybe he you know studying well Kryptonian... there's versions of the story where he destroyed krypton so he absolutely can go toe to toe yeah but kryptonians don't have they don't all have superman's capabilities Oh yeah, yeah. Well, not yeah, not to learn. But song, he, yeah. if he like did a quick scan of Superman, he could realize a particular type of sun, like a red sun, makes Superman weak. So now he just shines a big right red sun energy on on the city, and now Superman or like shoots a fucking something into Superman and yeah, makes yeah. Superman weaker. And that, that's how I suppose you can have that he gets defeated. But then from defeating Darkseid, uh, not Darkseid, uh, Brainiac, Lex Luthor could end up harnessing that technology makes like fucking bizarro or something or or finds within the wreckage doomsday from the times of when dark side conquered or uh, fucking hell brainiac when brainiac conquered uh, <laughs> you just want Krypton. dark side <laughs> I, like, dark side's the last one you gotta do dark side but anyway well so that's in between with... then <laughs> if that was the last one well, let's say you're doing a trilogy let's okay, say you're doing brainiac a trilogy. here's your sequel the phantom zone prisoners escape that's your General Zod and your Feora and all these characters. Right. You're taking on Kryptonians who are now going to take over the world. Maybe Superman, you know, um, realizes that they've served their time, right? Like he only learns about them now and that they've served their time for a long time. And he's like, well, this is not right and they should be let out. And he lets them out. And then, of course, they go fucking bad. And he's like, this is my fault. And he has to put things right. You know what I mean? But is that just three then- villains? Or is no, it like no, you're releasing a no. ton of people from the Phantom Zone? A fuckload of people from the Phantom Zone. Right. Yeah, fuckload. Including maybe Doomsday. Maybe Doomsday but was Doomsday locked the end. in the Phantom Zone. That's yeah. the end. That's that is the, the end. end. That's so you the gotta end. take on yeah. Doomsday. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know? But you realize you can't. And then yeah. you actually cameo appearance. He goes and makes a deal with the one person he shouldn't. Fucking Darkseid. So Darkseid is the one that defeats Doomsday. But 
Ah, you're going, payment. Uh, you're, you're payment. going way too far. <laughs> yeah, that's unbelievable. <laughs> but I do think that's way, the, like that. I think yeah. that's actually that is the challenge is yeah is like um yeah what because you obviously need to scale that right and it's like how do you how do you actually do that and I mean unlike uh, other heroes how does Superman get upgrades like do you give him the supercar super dog like where's his upgrades come from you know yeah. um it's... so maybe actually it, it needs to start from like kind of at a, at a, at a youth nearly. Where he's learning his capabilities. Honestly, I think you you had just you have to forget that there's you have to just go. There's not going to be a sequel. You make one <laughs> Superman game as if it's the only one you're ever going to make. Try pitch then, that to a studio. <laughs> no, but seriously, and then you, it's the only way you can. You yeah. worry about the sequel afterwards. You go, okay, that was great. How the fuck do we make a sequel? That's the question. Yeah. Not not how do we scale back the superman game so that we can make sequels that is definitely the wrong way no i don't mean i don't game. i mean scaling in the one game oh right right that you have a starting point you build up to the man of Steel. yeah well i suppose yeah. batman and arkham asylum has scaling and then has scaling yeah, again yeah, city yeah. origins yeah. and night nice, so of course yeah not all like you have an ability with when you get xp you unlock you know as you go on you know like you can unlock your freeze breath that maybe you don't have initially and yeah longer like longer cape lets you go higher <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, no, 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 no. Longer, suppose... longer cape is infinite flight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> infinite flight for the longer cape. Let us know your own thoughts on uh, Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League. Maybe you're very excited for this, and maybe you loved everything you saw, or um, maybe you're in the same boat as us, and this game is just not for you. Is what would you have liked to have seen Rocksteady do? Otherwise, if that's the case, and uh, do you think they could do a Superman game? Not just them, not anyone. Do you think someone could do a Superman game? What would you like to see from a Superman game? Do let us know. We are now going to be moving on. Do you have anything else to add about state of play? Any of the games? State I, of play? I think our tangent has been long enough on that. Uh, excellent. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, I, we are now going to move on to our spoiler filled thoughts for episode six of The Last of Us. So, final spoiler warning in case you have not yet caught up and checked out episode six of The Last of Us. Do check that out before you come back and then let us know your own thoughts on it too. Um, but yes, we're going to be talking about Kin in Tree. Two, one, spoilers. Okay, uh, what did you guys think of this episode of The Last of Us? I think this was probably not all at once. Now, <laughs> the weakest episode so far. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I wouldn't I go that far. Bored. <laughs> okay, you were bored. Yeah. Fair okay. Enough. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of talking, I suppose. A lot of talking and getting to know Tommy. You know, getting that kinship going. Um, I mean, they didn't do autumn. They skipped over autumn. Mm -hmm. They just went. We're in winter now. Uh, that's. Uh, I didn't mind it. You know, it's just. I suppose a nice little break from meeting a character and them dying. It's a nice little. Well, actually, that's not true because if you've never played <laughs> the game. <laughs> <laughs> retract that statement yeah i retract that statement actually uh it's kind of the same as all the other episodes <laughs> me a character did i uh i didn't mind it i didn't mind it i thought it was just, uh, it was a nice paced episode um nice little little kind of cameos in there they got shimmered a horse in there i was like oh that's that's nice yeah that's nice. I, yeah it was I, cool nice i recognize the, the the girl that stared at ellie Dina? I, that's dina i was like mm -hmm. oh, that's 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 nice there that's nice so that was nice in that area actually getting to to visit and see jackson yeah i liked in that regard and i feel that they already have it established that they're kind of yeah. jumping straight to having it established yeah yeah i like that i like that see adam's face be like absolutely not i absolutely wanted them living not. in it damn <laughs> <laughs> i'm like what difference would it make but okay <laughs> i i can explain the difference it make please please do right please do. okay yeah, so far this world is looking way cozier <laughs> than uh, as depicted yeah. in the video game. Right. Right. Episode three has a very cozy little little house. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, they ran into a bit of trouble. But generally, it, it's actually quite nice. Nicely painted. Lovely little haven for for Bill and Frank. That's not how it was in the game. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. Then you have um, the couple at the beginning of this episode also have this nice little haven. Where they seem to be away from everything, everything seems to be okay for them. 
mm-hmm. and then you get to Jackson and it's like all like beautiful colored and stuff. This uh, this series I don't think is depicting the world of The Last of Us accurately. I, I, right. it, it, the world of The Last of Us is horrible. Even even the area with um, Sam and Henry, those mm-hmm. people are actually way nicer than the hunters <laughs> in the game. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Even though they're after them, but they're they're justified in in their actions at least from their perspective. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas in the game, they were just cannibals. They ate people. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, There's no justification there. They ate people. F- they crazy. <laughs> wore their shoes as trophies and things, and tied teddy bears to the front of fucking trucks and shit. Yeah. Like in in <laughs> in the game, um, you know, I think uh, I I saw I think it was someone made wrote an article saying that uh, I think it was in response to this episode um, that they're skipping to the cutscenes and that's a good thing and I hard disagree on that because mm-hmm. that that implies there's no substance in the gameplay but the gameplay uh, it gives you moments of tension it, it kind of establishes the world because you're actually physically walking around in it and it's horrible and the cutscenes are actually a moment of rest for a player uh, yeah. to get the story moments the gameplay tells you story in ways the cutscenes cannot and the cutscenes tell the story in a way that the gameplay cannot and if we're only getting the cutscenes we're missing out on a whole lot of substance that was in mm-hmm. the gameplay and i think that's what this this is missing and this particular episode it all just looks it looks too nice what i like about in in the last of us 2 when we see jackson it was almost the them after completing their journey coming back that they with tommy built that together as a family Mm -hmm. as a community but now it's like they're actually not needed it's not as if like joel and all coming back helped with anything because it was like maria and stuff like that they were still struggling almost like dawn of the planet of the apes they're like you know they're they're trying to get their world back as opposed to it's all it's all fine. Mm. I thought Jackson was already established for them. It's just that something happened at the dam and they had to go fix it. But Jackson was already established in in the Last of Us Part One. Was it? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was already built up and established and everything. They were just fixing the dam so that then they could get power. So they just didn't have power by time. When well, they didn't have electricity by time, you got there. But right. they had, I think, what was it that? as, as was a that just um, another... Because they, they were all, like, barricaded by the dam, aren't they? It's like, that was their fort. That was their fortress. That's that's an outpost that they have, yeah. So, so yeah, did, that's... That, that, how did that, they that's a fortress. To the dam? Yeah, how did, they're Joel, fixing up the da- no, how did Joel and Ellie know to did go Joel, there? Did Joel and Ellie not happen upon them by accident? They, yeah, they just kind of happened upon the dam. They happened... To- upon them they didn't know to go to there specifically they just okay. happened upon that and then and then maria and then pointed the guns and they're like well we're just passing through mm. and then yeah. Tommy. yeah i thought so too pretty sure jackson's already established i mean it's 20 years it's a long time to not try to re-establish a, a civilization of some yeah kind. i just think the show is missing the bleakness of of the, no, of the world i, 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 I don't shit, di- i, I don't from. i don't disagree with that and I do think, like, having watched this episode, again, it's a, it's a thing of, like, we've said it before. Um, I don't think there's enough episodes. And I, I think it's weird. Like, it seems like they set a number of, like, right, we're going to do this in nine or ten episodes. So in this episode, we need to hit here. And in this episode, we need to hit here in order to fit the story in, as opposed to just, like, writing episodes and seeing how many you end up with after you've told the story. You get me, like, yeah, and and then trim where you need to trim, and uh, yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because yeah, I I do feel like everything is happening a little too quickly and just moving along, and you know, in saying that, I I didn't find this the m- most disappointing episode. Obviously, I don't think it was as strong as the last episode, which was just fucking phenomenal. Mm. Um, but I rather enjoyed this episode. I thought the cinematography was gorgeous, Trout. And I thought the acting, the actual performances were brilliant. I thought paid Pedro in particular really shone in this episode. Like I, th- I really thought the whole scene with him, um, talking to Tommy, 
mm. and just saying I can't do this anymore. Like I, I thought that was a really, really good scene and an interesting, different take on Joel. This Joel is less capable than the one in the game. Mm. Mm. Definitely so. He's he's really not able for this. He's, he's getting like heartburn and shit. He's just like, he's like I need to lie down. Now, one thing I I didn't think they handled very well because I liked quite a lot of the interactions between him and Ellie. Um, and like, you know, I enjoyed the scene, you know, I enjoyed their take on the scene. It was good. Um, I do think they resolved their argument too quickly and were kind of back pals, pals again. Yeah. Um, now I liked all the scenes that followed, but I just, I do think that that needed even a, even an extra 30 seconds of a scene just to, you know, um, even just even maybe show Joel going to get the horse ready, about to leave, and have a thought and 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 stop for a moment, like for us to see the decision, because it did seem as like we're going our separate ways. Like calm down a I bit, thought, lads. And, <laughs> and, and a, a second later, I thought I'd give you a choice. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. If it, it felt it felt like that resolved too quickly. That's Hold all. on, Hold, no, no. I I thought you know within the editing of showing Joel sitting down and he's staring, and then they do the little cut away to Sarah. I yeah. thought like you know, no, I mean sarcastic. I fucking hated that editing. Oh, choice. sorry. Like, why sorry. did you fucking? Why <laughs> I did they you do were that? Serious for a second. I was no, like, well, if, God, if you no. like that, great. Uh, yeah. No, that was a terrible editing choice. <laughs> all right. Like what? One thing I would have done is I would have had Ellie, maybe say like oh, so he's having all those problems and I would have kept them anyway because I think that's actually it is good mm-hmm. but I would have had Ellie say or do something that's so similar to something like unknowingly but that's so similar to something that Sarah did in the first episode right mm-hmm. and not have have any flashbacks but just have Joel get suddenly like they're getting along so well and then have that moment of oh no like we're getting too close and then he mm. goes to Tommy and has the conversation and all that stuff. And I, it would just feel like that it, it, it was finally because they were getting so close. And then he suddenly is like, we're going our separate ways. Like, mm-hmm. if, if for, It felt like it wasn't fully earned. Mm. Uh, he, they, and they left out that fucking that piece of dialogue. Oh, the, you you are skating on mighty thin ice. Oh, it's such a good one. They, and I was like, oh, I do that. Joel is <laughs> it's a different. It's definitely a different type of Joel. This is a a. Yeah. a Somewhat softer Joel because like the tro- the the Joel in in the game was so much harsher and so much rougher on the edges. So I do like this take and I do like that that um yeah that moment when he's like emptying himself out to Tommy like he's oh, almost on the verge brilliant. of tears. It's yeah, uh, it's this beautiful brilliant. scene and I like him trying to fix the shoe. I like the bit when he's taping up the shoe. Mm. I liked that. I was yeah. like, ah, oh, that's a nice little yeah, nod like to the road thing, yeah. actually. Um. I thought the couple were funny, but I get what you mean, Adam. It's like, yeah, yeah. I I did like the couple though. I thought that was <laughs> they, they were they were good, and it was yeah. It's 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 odd because it's like that's a good scene. It really is like the dialogue mm. that's there, the dynamic mm. between them and all. It's just I feel like it probably it just doesn't belong here though. That's that's the thing, and it, the, it's, it, it's an unfortunate mm. thing to have to, I suppose, write something so brilliantly that feels a little at odds with this world yeah but it does set up a really nice thing for joel that he does later well hopefully he does later if they don't fucking do it later i'm gonna be like why did you just bother include that scene <laughs> well i Which really is... liked oh yeah yeah it better be the, the same the... place on the map yeah yeah i yeah. I, I really liked as well the um well i like, kind of feel like that end... was them doing that and that's why i got a bit i i was watching it and i was going oh fuck no I well, I, I, I feel been, like that is yeah. that's I don't know, doing I've, it. I I think they're going to be on a mission that I don't necessarily agree with anyway, but I think they're going to be on a mission to like say Joel is the bad guy. So I think they're going to have Joel do some awful shit <laughs> like yeah. before this is over to have you go see he's the bad guy. Like right. I'll be like no, I would have done it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> and, enough, as, but as I predicted, they are doing left behind next. That is the next episode. Yeah, as I yeah, predicted, when Joel episode. gets wounded, left behind, and then and then eight and nine. This is yeah, the first episode um, that actually did get me. Ah, your your volume cut you out cut altogether. Yeah, yeah, it's just my audio. I'm getting little ah. pop ups there about my audio, but 
they, they oh, sorry. the scene where they have that moment in the in the in the room saying that she's not not his sister, not, not his daughter hmm. that I, that was the first scene in the whole thing that kind of got me like um and, like, and, and, and emotionally the, yeah and it's the music as well this one mm-hmm. this episode used the more music from the game yeah than any other nice. episode and it just yeah. goes to show the power of that score. And then it's like, well, why do you do that the whole fucking way through? But um, <laughs> right, right, right. but that scene, I think, is is was done excellently. It was really well done. Yeah. An interesting yeah. place to put it. But then again, I kind of wish she did run away. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, and I, 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 I get where they moved it. And yeah, I do like in the game when she actually runs away and they have to go back out looking for her and like I do think that's a really good sequence. Again, that, it does. Th- it feels the like reason. they have a certain amount of episodes or something. Yeah. That are like we don't have time for that, and I'm like, uh, why though? Why? What? Like but that. But that was his reasoning for going. Yeah. I I I need to take her. Right. Because it was um. It wasn't like oh she needs me. It was the other way around. He realized. He realized he needed her. How worried he got when she wasn't around him. Yeah. he became a father again and they're missing that <laughs> yeah true yeah true hmm. i don't disagree with that like i feel like well they um, kind of had it with the dog scene the dog scene that was a really good really, scene yeah it was crazy it was very good i scene. really like that scene now it, it resolved itself nicely but i was I, I found that quite tense i was like well, what the fuck are they gonna do here like because yeah. there's always i was like He's first of all if the dog like does sniff her out, it goes crazy. It's like they're fucking surrounded. Like there's nothing Joel can do to. S- I'm like, what are they gonna do here? So I, I did. I thought there was a nice, even though you knew it had to resolve itself. Mm-hmm. Like mm. there is no other way out just of that how, situation. How would they do it? Yeah. It's just the. I thought the tension was built up quite nicely there. I, maybe because of how it was edited, and also like the fear in Ellie's face, of like fuck, 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 fuck. Like what do I do? Yeah. You know. I I thought that was handled quite well. I thought like. Throughout the episode, the moment to moment interactions were really well written. Mm. You know, like even like the stuff where like they're walking along and like um you know, Joe's like, Oh, so you're a communist to Tommy's like, No, I'm not I'm not a communist. Yeah, that's good. And, and then like you know, Marie is like, Well, we're communal, so you are a communist and he's like the fuck like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, his I whole did, world loved... is shook because he doesn't want to admit that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did like Tommy's face there, yeah. Yeah, he very good. I liked Tommy a lot more this time around than the first time we saw him. Yeah, I no, I mean I I thought he was good. Um regardless. He was good. Um I he, yeah, I, yeah. He, he feels like Tommy. He, honestly. What did you the, think of the university though? Um I thought it was a bit I rushed. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's rushed, rushed. Rushed. That's how I feel. Like, you know, they enter and there's the things. They're, you know what I mean? They just Drops. enter, there it is, you know. There's not enough and it's not even a take like would it add much time like to have a little montage scene of checking different rooms? Like it wouldn't, right? Like that doesn't have to be thorough. That just has to be like like twenty seconds of opening different doors and finding no one. Yeah. I mean mm-hmm. like and then and then eventually get into a room and being like, Where the hell are they? You know? Yeah. Feeling like we finally like they should have been built up or it's like we finally got to our journey's end. Yeah. And then uh, and then that moment of Fuck, they're not, they're here. not here. Yeah, because that's what happens in the game. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I also felt that the, 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 the kind of the impact that happens to Joel in the game does make right. you feel, oh shit, more so than what happens in in the episode. And mm-hmm. it's almost like as if it's because they didn't really have any. There was no opportunity for a conflict. Like Joel went down fighting. In, in the game like big time mm-hmm. but to the point where you thought fuck is that actually yeah is that the end of yeah, this like, guy <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it's like for someone who doesn't know the game watching the show I can't imagine though they believe for a second he's dead no I, I wouldn't say you know when you yet. just know like the language of what just happened in the episode would indicate that he's not he's not dead that's not how they killed that character off yeah Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can't separate myself from the fact that I know he's not. You know. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it is just that they're rushing through this. There, it, yeah. it, there's, there's too much that they're kind of glossing over. Not details, just the 
just slowly allowing it to breathe. Yeah. Really? Because all the stuff that's there is, you know, for the most part, great. Yeah. You know? Mm. It is just allowing it room to breathe. Let that moment happen. Let it happen pr- like properly. Don't you don't need to rush to that next sequence. Like we we will uh, the audience will happily sit there for an extra twenty minutes even. Yeah. Happily. Mm. In fact, they would love it. So allow it to happen. You know. I feel. You'll I feel actually, well, you will with, get more ad revenue anyway. Like <laughs> it's good for business. Do it. <laughs> uh, I do feel with the Joel's wound, um. Mm. In the game, at least, like, he's falling on a metal pole that's stuck yeah. in the floor. So you have to pull him out of that. So he has to bleed, because otherwise he's going to be stuck there. The worst thing you could do when you get stabbed is pull the thing out of you. So mm-hmm. when he pull, like, being a survivor for 20 years, not 100% sure he would... I'd yeah. also be a con- contractor. You probably would know that thing that if you got something jabbed in you, you know, you, you keep it in. And you want to put you... the pressure on and stuff. Yeah. 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 I get what you're so... saying, though, but I do think there is that like immediate shock of like, like, okay, so from watching things and reading things up, I know that. However, if there was something in me, I think I would instantly take it out. It'd be like, fuck, fuck, like take that out and then be like, oh shit. <laughs> Put I, it back I, in. I think if this was your first rodeo, but I think we need to, we need to, uh, there, for a level of believability, I think we need to know that this is probably not the first time he experienced an injury mm-hmm. in these 20 years. Like if, if Ellie went to take it out and he goes, no, no, no. Yeah. No. And then he's kind of very weak. Oh, yeah. That could have been great. Yeah. If he was like, it was like, no, 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 leave it in, leave it in. Uh, like, yeah, he, he is getting weak and she's panicking about what to do. and yeah, hmm. but I agree that, that yeah, the, the pole thing dropping on the pole that gives you absolutely no room for error, like no excuse. You have to get off of that thing, and then yeah, you can't you can't stay there. You're, you're you are dead, and it's Ellie dragging him and and shooting off the people and thinking hmm. like her struggling, watching her struggle, and then Joel trying to get to her while he's bleeding out. It's yeah, I, they just they hit harder. They hit way harder in the game <laughs> these moments. Yeah. That's like that is like a, the scene as well, the upside down scene and stuff. Like those are those kind of moments where it's like, it, it's not just that it just looks cool. It's like it creates a certain feeling and a certain interaction with the player, um, mm. that I feel are quite pivotal. That is a moment that like I did have that moment. I was like, oh, they rushed that, you know? Yeah. Mm. Now I did like him choking out the guy. I thought they did. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um. But that could have happened in another interaction anyway, so it's not like. It's not like doing that is better than having him fall, be impaled, and then slowly make his way out. You know, like yeah, he could he could strangle anyone. <laughs> well, he could, he could have been <laughs> so. strangling that chap, and then that chap could have pushed against the floor. Let's say pushed his weight on top of Joel, and then they fell off the balcony, and Joel landed. So you just oh, yeah, yeah. choking that, would, that, that sequence, work, yeah. and then he falls on it because I think that's what's happening anyway. He's struggling with someone and then they fall off the balcony yeah. lands on the oak so mm. uh, you could still yeah. do that but yeah i think that was just the the college was was rushed i like that he was explaining how to play football to her yeah the and the, the, the whole singer line and stuff i thought all that was really good i didn't really believe the singer line when he delivered that line is like i don't really believe that as much as when do you know what i hear uh, you I never believed the singer line until in the second game he was playing the guitar. <laughs> I always true. thought yeah. he was kind of taking the piss and yeah. she was laughing and go, get out of here, you know. He's like, oh, seriously, I wanted to be a singer. Get, fuck off, Joel. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I, I, I never believed that line until it turns out it's like, oh, he, he is a musician and he did want to be a singer. <laughs> well, no, I always just saw it as like him being the uh, like a, a hopeful kid being like, yeah, I wanted to be a famous singer. But... That he actually just eventually started to realize, no, he can't sing at all. So that's what I, that's how I picked it up from Joel is that he had that like dream and then he realized, oh, actually, I can't play instruments. I have no musical talent, so I can't do it. And then, yeah, yeah, part two, he comes around and it's like, fuck you, you talented prick. (laughs) Yeah. I I suppose I got the sense in this episode that it was that he was, he meant it, but he's reluctant. He's still like reluctantly telling her. Yeah. Because he's kind of a, embarrassed to open up anyway and then she makes fun of him so he's kind of <laughs> you know he's pissed off for telling her at all you know uh, but at I've... the same time i think he's enjoying 
they're, they're kind of banter together. I, I think I think Bella Ramsey is absolutely fucking. She's absolutely great. nailing the Ellie in this. As the more goes on, I think she's fucking. He, she's they really, really they are nailing it. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're great. Um, mm-hmm. and I'm looking forward to the next episode. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm I'm looking forward to um like the ending. You know, I'm looking forward to. For Joel's the bad guy. Seeing yeah, seeing how it translates, um, to the show. I do have a, a feeling that it won't be as impactful as when you play it. Mm. But I think that's just the sense you get anyway from the whole thing, which is that um, the medium is still better as a game. Mm. Yeah, which the is weird because it always still better as a game. It always felt like it would work as as a TV show, but I, I do think it just it. There's so much in it that it alone isn't a single season. I just, see, I think it, it could isn't. be, but it needs more episodes, you know? Well, okay, yeah, but if if you're going the old school 20 episode season, fine. But um, yeah. very few, very few seasons these days are, are, doing are that, that linked. Yeah, yeah well, so, cost too much. So the, I think the the it's a two season show, really. The first actually, game. Eric, what you just said there makes a lot of sense, and that could actually be a huge factor. That it costs too much. They very well could have had a budget, and in breaking that down, that might have actually dictated how many episodes they could. They felt like they could realistically do to a, a high quality. Yeah, and, and shooting, that might be yeah. dictating rushing the story and shooting in COVID probably because I felt like with the the, yeah. the the issue with the college thing for me is that five dudes coming after you is just not as is not as scary no no yeah like i feel like there should have been like easily 15 people spread out yeah around the place but or something it's, like that, it's, you know? and, and just overall there's there is a kind of a lack of people which i know and it's a post-apocalyptic thing as well but but even just throughout where there's infected like there's apart from that end of that episode where there's full of cgi guys there's there really isn't that many encounters really mm-hmm but yeah. COVID could have been a, a huge reason for that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could be a massive factor. I am looking forward to meeting uh, David. Looking forward to seeing how another actor is going to portray that character. Yeah. And what way they're going to bring that character to life. Do you think uh, the next episode is left behind? Like as I in, think as it, in the, I think th- not the... It's episode seven, I think, is left behind. Do you think it's going to be just the flashback or the flashback plus... Well, I think it's called Left Behind. So whatever way you want to take that. Well, I, when I say when I think of Left Behind, I always think of just the flashback. Really, I don't really think of the Ellie. I think it. Scavenging. I think it will be largely the flashback. Yeah, I think that could be a a mistake to do a, a whole episode on just that. That do you m- know what? That might feel like a filler episode. The only thing is, we we'll know. <laughs> I don't know now when this is out, yeah, so that's true. I, I, I wouldn't speculate too far on that. But yeah, um, okay. Is there anything else from the episode that you guys wanted to talk about or highlight, um, before we finish up? I, uh, so in a post-apocalyptic world, I find it makes a lot of sense to make sure you don't really have anything attached to your face that someone could use as a torture mechanism. So I'm actually not a big fan of the fact that Maria has a nose piercing. And I know that's a massive slight. Sure, sure. Okay, it's, just, yeah. it's a slight nitpick. But every time I see something like that in like this kind of dangerous world, I'm immediately brought back to that scene from Punisher with Thomas Jane. Oh, man. <laughs> where they had the chap in the chair with all the piercings and they start ripping him out to torture him. I'm Im- always brought that back to that. Actually, just with piercings in general. When I see piercings in face, I'm immediately always brought back to that sequence. So I was um, like, what that, for villains? Uh, what if they're villains? Uh, no, I think it's still pretty, still pretty horrible. Because just in like Mad Max and things like that, they always have like crazy piercings and, yeah, yeah. and shit all over yeah. the place. Yeah, but they're psychotic. That's what I meant. <laughs> That's what I meant. Villains. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant doing that to villains. Um, actually, depending on the villain. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, they're they're psychotic. You know, they're like all about the masochism. Yeah, man. yeah. We don't know what Marie likes. I, 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 I hear what you're saying. 
Uh, yeah, I never. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nitpick. It's a, it is it is it's a, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge, nitpick. It's a huge nitpick. I was that's, just like, that's a, that's a personal thing. You need to work on that. Yeah. I think you need to it, expose it yourself. Uh, clock walk, very... Clockwork or Orange style, you need just to expose yourself to that Punisher scene a few times until you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. With your eyelids, like ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I suppose <laughs> with that that's, kind of no. with that kind of thinking, though, then yeah, then you also have to do the whole like. You know, the Walking Dead game, Lee's advice to Clementine thing, like everyone with any long hair should keep it short. Right? Yeah. So you start getting to those kind of thinkings as well. But I suppose the idea is that in Jackson, they're trying to build a community where they can live a normal life. Do you want to go back to normal? Yeah. Go back to the way things were. They feel safe enough. They're walled in that maybe they can, you know, be themselves. But I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was a, a nitpicking thing. Yeah. Because it's just like. That's fair. I thought it was it a bit just... funny with. Um... The, the interaction that Joel had with Tommy and Maria when Joel was just saying, like, would you mind, ma'am? I just want to talk to the family. And I was just sitting there going, like, what, do you think she's just sitting there for the fucking laugh? Like, and then Tommy yeah, does, yeah, like, the whole... Like, do you not get it? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> this is pretty... Like, I suppose we know <laughs> as, yeah, as players, right, you know. but, like, yeah, I just thought that was, that was kind of funny. Well, I, I feel like anyone else would know too. And I think that speaks to like the distance that has come between where it's like, okay, fair enough. Tommy wasn't really oh, like talking to Joel much. But at the same time, I th- I do think there's a side of it's like, like, Joel, you never fucking paid attention to me actually. Like, you know, like you've yeah, never or, really or, actually stopped or maybe, and asked me about what was going on. Or... or maybe just never thought that he would settle down with someone. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. maybe not. I actually would have. I actually got from that that the reason she was sitting there is because she's kind of like a person in charge who's checking on these new people that just came oh, in. Oh, okay. All that's right. the way I picked it up, and I imagine that's how Joel picked it up too. It's like, maybe, I'm in yeah. your your settlement. You're yeah, probably someone in did, charge. Yeah. He did. I suppose I'm just speaking to like the fact that even the way he reacted when Tommy's like, "I'm going to be a father," like it wasn't, it wasn't the best reaction for like. Oh a, yeah, a no, that was at all. <laughs> Like he wasn't, know. he wasn't like, oh my god, congratulations, and oh, this is great news, and well, I'm gonna be an uncle. Like it was nothing like that. It was just like, you sure about this, or you know, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, it, was like, it wasn't a good reaction, and like it no. pissed Tommy off. Hmm. You know, yeah. Ah, but then they missed that dialogue from the game, and he's all fucking Tommy saying he has nightmares from those days, and Joel's like, we survived because of me. It was fucking such a good scene. But yeah, the bar scene was also very good. <laughs> it was. It was very good. <laughs> well, I think there you have it, guys. Those are our takes. Few little things didn't work for us. Uh, I think Adam was probably the most disappointed of the three of us. I thought it was a good episode. I thought the performances were good. But yes, they're rushing a few things a little too much. But looking forward to see what to do with the rest of the show. Let us know your own thoughts. If you're watching this YouTube, jump down in the comments. Give your take on episode six of The Last of Us. And if you enjoyed this discussion, why not give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell for all future episodes. And the fine our, our final three spoiler discussions on The Last of Us in the next three episodes. Um, to those of you who are listeners on audio platforms, you can also touch base on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Brothers Take again to give your take on both The Last of Us and the most recent state of play. Thank you very much for checking out this week's episode. We'll be back to talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye, Bye-bye dude. dude.